here doing our annual spring beach walk for the Presque Isle Nourishment Program. Uh, the, we, the Corps of Engineers in the Buffalo District have been doing nourishments at Presque Isle uh, pretty regularly for the last 50 years or so. And the purpose of that, of that beach walk is for our project delivery team to walk along the beach and, and determine the conditions there and figure out a scope of work for our nourishment contractor to come in and place the sand. The, the project that the Corps of Engineers has on Presque Isle right now actually was initiated in the late 1980s. And it, it consisted of the construction of 55 offshore segmented breakwaters and then 50 years of beach nourishment. Well, I've been involved with the beach walk since around 2010, so we're, a bit, we're coming up on 10 years now. Uh, in that time, 2010, 2011, 2012, Lake Erie was at normal or almost lower than normal water levels. Uh, in the past five years, we have seen uh, extreme high lake levels. Uh, there were monthly, multiple monthly high lake level records set last year. Uh, May, you know, March and April of 2020 have seen new monthly record high water levels for Lake Erie. Uh, so as those water levels have come up, we have seen increased erosion. We've seen increased need for sediment. Uh, it's an always evolving and dynamic system out here on the shoreline of Lake Erie. Uh, so you're, every year you're going to see something you haven't seen before. And the purpose of the project really is just to stabilize the shoreline and to control the amount of erosion. Uh, the project, the segment of uh, offshore breakwaters actually was designed with the natural uh, intent of allowing the sand to move in the littoral system along the shoreline while still protecting from, from significant erosion. Uh, we take measurements, we note shoreline position, uh, lots of pictures. I take that back to the office, or in this case, my home office. Uh, start putting it into drawings, start figuring out volumes that are needed to restore the stability to the beach uh, in response to the erosion we've seen over the winter. So in a, in a typical year, uh, Presque Isle with the nourishment, we were averaging about 30, 32,000 cubic yards of material that's placed on an annual basis. Now with the, with the elevated lake levels, and also because we don't have a lot of protective ice in the winter, the last couple of winters, we've had a lot of erosion. So last year we placed, I, I believe it was about 70, over 70,000 cubic yards. So nearly double what we, what we, what we normally would in, a, in any one given year. And this year we predict that we'll be placing about that same amount. It's extremely rewarding to see design efforts and observation efforts be placed into an active construction and into a finished project and come out here and see the, the community enjoying the beach, see the habitats that are available uh, outside of Presque Isle, you know, where we have a structure that has solved some sort of coastal problem. Well, the entire peninsula is a, is a state park and it's very important to the city of Erie and the local community here. It's a, it's a major destination for both local people and people coming from, from outside of the region. It's not enough just to put a seawall out there and say we're done. Uh, we have to understand the impacts of those uh, both up and down the shoreline as we, as we try and work with the, the Great Lakes and work with the shoreline.